As a child, I always used to be very confused every time I saw the letter U in any English word. I somehow did not get the concept of U. I always used to curse the person who ever invented U. You see, B-U-T is but. However, B-U-T is put. U and I-T is unite. However, U-N-T-I-E is untie. Didn't make sense to me. So I read, 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 avoided, read. Then suddenly, tongue revelation happened. Hi, my name is Amelda and today we will discover how to pronounce you correctly in English. Let's check out the sounds you can make. For example, oh sorry, I'm not saying you can make, but the letter you can make. The first sound is a, uh, as in but, curl. This is pronounced as Curl, duck, duck, lungs. When you say the sound or when you bring out the sound uh, feel your vocal cords, you will feel a vibration. Uh, uh. Your jaws are much relaxed, you don't have to stress any of your facial muscles but you will feel a vibration here. Uh, but, curl, duck, lungs, church, umbrella, umbrella, untie. Feel the vibration, okay? So that's the uh sound. But, curl, duck, lungs, um, untie, umbrella, tummy, tuck as in tuck in. The next sound that we have is the oo sound. It's unlike the oo sound. It's not the oo sound, but it is the oo sound. It's very small, doesn't really require your vocal cords much. Your jaw is slightly uh, changed from, from a very relaxed position to oo. Look at my lips. Ooh. It's not ooh. It's not ooh, but ooh. Ooh. Bush. Could. A lot of people pronounce this word as cud. Could I have a glass of water, please? No, it's not cud. Do not pronounce the O, but the ooh. Could. Could. Put or push. Tuna. It's tuna and not tuna. It's not what you say as tune, ah, but it is tuna. Tuna. Bush could put tuna. Cucumber, cucumber. Then you have the next sound as the U sound. It's not U, it's U. You need to focus on the Y here. U as in U or blue. Blue. Cute Duke United Sorry United Uniform Unicorn mute, flute. So these are the words which has U sound and they are different than the U sound. When you say pupil, pupil, 
this this has the u sound it doesn't have poople this word is push yes it has pu this has pu however it has the u sound pupil push and there's a reason why we have u versus u sound we will explain it later so quick recap a uh, feel the vocal cord a uh, but curl duck lungs church dust tummy tuck u uh, bush push could put tuna should would concentrate on the u rather than the o sound the last is u blue cute feel the u in it feel the y sound in it blue as in u u yeah that's a sound blue cute duke united mute now let me explain why there's a difference between a u and u you will have the sound u when there are few conditions met first is u e u plus e becomes u mm doesn't really sound look uh quite convincing but i'll tell you why u is the most dependent vowel in order for you to bring that u sound you will need to have another vowel attached to it and possibly it is the e sound it is not the big e but e sound the short i sound or the short e sound so it's u plus e is u for example blue cute duke here it is the the sound y comes into place the second condition is if you have a u you have a consonant plus you have either the e or the i alphabet again the sound is very important you are focusing on the short e sound for example the word sorry uniform uniform united yes here is an exception because you have u n the sound is i it the exceptional word will be unidentified then it becomes un however most of the time u n i becomes uni or unique so u plus a consonant plus the e sound or the i sound becomes or usually helps come uh, comes up with the sound as uni the second condition here is that you need to have only two vowel sounds uni as one and form as a second one uni form anything that is beyond it for example unidentified so where you have a sound you have i sound you have a sound you have i sound again then it becomes the a sound otherwise most of the time if you have a, a word which has five or six letters you have only two vowel sounds uni as one and second is the a sound it becomes uni united uniform so that's about it it's a very simple straightforward u sound we have just three sounds that you can actually take as in a but curl duck lungs mud church dust as in dusty shirt then we have the u sound please be very careful my european friends tend to say this let me push it for you i'm not do not push it for me just push it for me or pull let me pull it for you don't pull that word so much just pull pull so it bush could put tuna again notice this if you have words such as should please concentrate on the u sound and not the o sound so it's could but not could it's not could could 
should, would. The last sound that U actually has is blue, cute, duke, united. The reason why we have the U is either U has to follow, U has to come with E or U has to come with a consonant and an E sound. Moreover, the entire word should have less than two vowel sounds. So that's about it. This is what we have for you in this lesson. I come to end of this lesson. I really hope you enjoyed learning with me. Until I come back with a new lesson, have fun, stay healthy and keep learning English. Love you. See ya. Bye-bye.